Hello to all my high school football fans and friends out there. Welcome to another segment of the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. My friends, let's just get right into this video. Uh, this is going to be a video about, obviously, the best rivalry in the state of Ohio. Some say the nation. And that's none other than the Camp McKinley Bulldogs and the Maslin Tigers that just played this past Saturday. Maslin winning... 35 to nothing. But my friends, I'm going to take all the stats, all the tremendous touchdown catches out of the equation here. The best rivalry, and I've bragged up both teams before since I started my YouTube channel back in 2019. I bragged up Camp McKinley being one of the most rich in tradition football programs in the state of Ohio. And obviously, I bragged up the Maslin Tigers being one of the most rich in tradition football programs, high school football programs in the state of Ohio. But my friends, what took place after this game in the post-game handshake was a total embarrassment, hands down. I'm not about to play favoritism, okay? In case you didn't know, I'm not even from Maslin. I'm not from Canton. I grew up Trumbull County, Warren, Ohio. And yes, we had our big rivalries too in the in in the city of Warren. Back before the two schools consolidated, it was Warren G. Harding Raiders, well, Warren G. Harding Panthers, and the Warren Western Reserve Raiders. And they clashed like they've never clashed before. But I've never seen a example of poor sportsmanship like I did Maslin and Camp McKinley. I'm just going to say this point blank, both schools were wrong. <clears throat> you know, whatever happened to winning with dignity and respect, okay? Maslin won the game 35-0. Shake the player's hand, say good game, and respectfully walk off the field. Get ready for week 11. Whatever happened to losing with dignity and respect? Okay? Yes, Camp McKinley had their butts handed to him 35 to nothing. You swallow your pride, you shake the hands, you admit you got your asses kicked, and you go out and get them week 11. The game's done. I was not at the game. I just seen the highlights afterwards, which I'm sure made national news, sports news. But nonetheless, my friends, you know, when you stop and look at this, and, and like I said, I've, I've bragged up both schools before. Watch my videos. I have many good friends and subscribers. You know who you are. Some fans from Maslin. Some fans from Camp McKinley. Again, I'm not here to, to play favorites and to say this team was wrong and this or this team was wrong. You, you, you're both wrong. Case closed, okay? You know, whatever happened to be the better team, be the better. And what I don't understand is this. We're talking about a Division I, Camp McKinley. We're talking about a Division II, Maslin Tigers. Let's be honest. They got slews, slew of coaches, okay? We're not talking about a Division VI or Division Seven school that tops might have six or seven coaches and that's including the head coach we are talking about Maslin and Camp McKinley that probably have at least I'm guessing 15 to 18 coaches now you couldn't use your head as coaches and possibly look towards what could happen after the game and make sure you had a few coaches in the front, a few coaches at the end. You, you, you couldn't foresee the possibility of what could happen. Yes, emotions were running high in this game. I get it. It's not the best and biggest rivalry in the, in the state for nothing. But nonetheless, my friends, this was unacceptable for both schools. Case closed. You know, and what's sad is now we're going into week 11. 
okay? Are there going to be kids that are going to be suspended for week 11? Who knows? And I'm just going to say this. If I'm a scout, and let me tell you, there were college scouts without a doubt at this game. Two rich in tradition football programs with all kind of talent. You betcha there were major college scouts at this game. I, if I'm a college scout and I'm looking at this game and I might be looking at a certain player and then I see that certain player going after another kid, you really think now I'm going to give that player a scholarship? Hell no. I don't care how quick you are. I don't care how fast you are. I don't care how good you could throw a football or catch a football or run the ball. Unacceptable. Case closed. An embarrassment without a doubt. Don't get me wrong. I played sports. I've coached sports. Yes, emotions are running high. I get it. These are these are 16 through 18 year olds. I get it. But nonetheless, don't want to put all the blame on the coaching staff. But you know what? You are the adults. You couldn't foresee something possibly igniting after the game. Like I said, whatever happened to losing with dignity? And whatever happened to winning and being humble about it? Instead of maybe rubbing in someone's face? Or, don't be a sore loser, accept the loss, and move on. I shake my head when I watch that video. I truly did. My friends, if you are new to my channel, I welcome you all to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. Smash that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. It's free to do so. If you like this video, please smash the like button. And like always, if I ever wanted to hear comments and read comments, it's this video. Please comment down below. One more time, it's not picking on either school. Again, I have no ties to either school. One more time, I grew up in Warren, Trumbull County. I just, at a young age, had the utmost respect for both of these rich in tradition high school football programs that would often, all the time, travel to Warren to get it on with the Warren G. Harding Raiders. Peace out. God bless. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.